You can be brutally honest here. I have a question. I introduced our merch in the beginning. What do you think of the soft cream and the new PTOD? And don't hold back. Don't feel like you're on camera and don't you gotta be honest. Gotta be I like the cream. This. I'm loving the cream okay. with like the like monochromatic yeah, look yeah, yeah. and like the cursive. It's very tasteful. Got you. I'm more into like tasteful, like subtlety. And I think that you guys like nude are nude colors? Like aloe, I think like aloe probably, yeah? Yeah, just like more like um, subtle. Now we're at a point where we deal with only like really professional clubs. Yeah. Like at the beginning of your career, you can get in some situations at it. And I mean, living overseas in and of itself is like such a larger sacrifice than a lot of the beach sacrifices. Like just accessibility. Like when I'm over there, like you want an acai bowl, you don't get an acai bowl. Yeah. You can, you can handle the heat. Yeah. You can, you can handle the heat. Yeah. Out of system, you can handle the heat. Booyaka Shell, welcome back to another episode of If You Can't Handle the Heat. It's your boy G Swizz. To my right, Jokesy. Jokesy, how we doing? What's up, everybody? Uh, we before doing? we get into it, just want to give a quick shout out. If you want to support the boys, hit that subscribe button. Also, we got new merch. A nice soft cream hoodie or a soft cream long sleeve. A nice peach hoodie. Links in the bio for this and many, many more. And I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, allvolleyball.com. We just got back from professional. Now we're playing in the beach. We're going to go back in the grass. No matter what surface, no matter what volleyball, they got all your volleyball needs. OOS, OOS for 20% off. Link in the bio. Now let's get into it. Mike is about to come back. But before Mike can get back, we try to snag a very close friend of his. <laughs> we have the Zana Muno on. Zana, close thanks friend. so much. Thank you, thank AKA you. AKA girlfriend, AKA lover, whatever you want to say that. <laughs> Whatever, what, what, what do you prefer, Zana? What do you prefer? Whatever floats your boat. All right, there we are, there we are. Um, first things first, if, for those who are the audience, I don't know how they don't know who you are, um, but if they don't know who you are, professional MVP athlete, met Mike at UCLA, played at UCLA on the indoor and beach scene, and now fully professional AVP. Correct? Correct, you nailed right. it. So, and Wilson athlete, Wilson athlete Wilson. as well. Wilson. All right, perfect, perfect. Um, so you guys have a tournament this this weekend, yeah, Huntington, yeah. Yeah, ABV Huntington is gotcha. this weekend, which is exciting. First one in California. Awesome. And how many total are there? It's kind of confusing. There's like f- tiers, so mm-hmm. I think there's like I could be wrong, but I think there's eight of the lowest tier, which is pro, four or f- maybe five tour series, and then three gold series. Right. So this is a middle t- series. Right. Which is a Pro tour series, I think. Okay. So I think like a total of like sixteen, but most people only play in like eight. Okay. So you told us like your tournament schedule. I want to kind of get more into the in the schedule. What's your like? Okay. It, like le- obviously leading up to it, maybe you change it a bit, but what's your like day to day schedule usually? Um, usually if I'm in America, just train in the mornings. Like every morning we practice, and then. We, I lift at USA Volleyball a couple, th- four, three or four days a week. Um, and that's kind of it. It's pretty, and then I just do PT and Cairo and like those kinds of things after that. But it's pretty mellow. Got you. Yeah. And then what, are you on the road? Well, you said you're on the road mostly for, I think we talked about this earlier, FIVB. Yeah. Is Mike and whatnot? Yes. You say that's one of the pros or cons of being a, a beach player? What? On the road? Like on the road. Being able to like, for example, if I were to say, yeah, I'm going on the road, guys. I'm training. Get back to the team later. Probably wouldn't. Go I think it's so like well. more glamorous than people gotcha. think, but I also think there's like tons of flexibility, which is really okay. like fun. But it's also hard because, like, in theory, I could be playing in a tournament and mm-hmm. have an, a date and be like, "Oh, I think I'm gonna get in." But like, you don't know until like gotcha. a few weeks before. So like, it's all very vague, which makes it really hard to plan anything. Like, friends, wedding. Like, you may be playing that weekend. You may not be playing that weekend. So it's like really. Right. Very up in the air, which is kind of hard. Um, but the traveling part, like I've been so many places and so many cool places. And like I have the freedom to go visit Micah, which is great. Yeah. But like sometimes I think it maybe looks cooler than it is. When when, when you visit, are you able to train like in most of the countries that he's played? Um, I haven't been able to train. In Poland, I was able to train. In France, I was able to train, but not in Turkey. Um, because they don't have any indoor facilities, and so I'm only there in, like, the middle of the winter. Um, so they're all closed, all of the okay. beach facilities. But I just, like, lift, because it's technically, like, my off-season. So I just, like, lift, and then, like, Mike and I will just, like, work on my arm swing or something in the gym. Um, but I'm not, like, training, which is honestly fine with me, because I need to, like, take a break. You guys have a pretty unique uh, 
I would say relationship because he also there was one time where he was your coach for a tournament. Yeah. yeah. How's yeah. that? I mean, like for example, is it, all right. Anytime you hear parent, uh, a loved one or anything getting involved yeah. with coaching or so, I was like, mom, oh, shut up or something <laughs> like that. Is it is like, is that is it ever like that between you guys no. or is it pretty open? There was like one period where we really were getting after it, and I had another. I was he was just like helping me, and I was giving him a lot of attitude, and. It was because of external factors that I was really stressed. Mm. But um, if he's just like my coach or my partner, we like are really good for the most part. I like love if he could like be my full time coach, I would hire him in a heartbeat, I think, because I just like respect him. He's like, I don't know, very level headed. He's very good at approaching like difficult conversations. But um, I think he does a good job of it. And I like think he's very talented and very knowledgeable. Mm. So I respect what he has to say. So I think it is good. Do you recommend to have boyfriend or girlfriend's coach or no? I mean, I think it just depends on the dynamic. Like mm. for me, it's fine and I love it. But like there's some people like my mother and my father would literally murder each other. Mm -hmm. So my mom would be like, just figure it out. And my dad would blow up. But <laughs> it's all about like how you approach it. And I right. think he approaches it well. And like now I trust him enough that we have it kind of dialed in that it works. What what elements of each other's I guess play style would you say that you admire of his and vice versa he admires of your place oh my gosh everything of his i think but like um one i would say his like mental game i would say more than anything else like he's just like so mental like he's such a gamer like i would want him in the game at the end of every match and like he's mm -hmm. so consistent and very like um I don't know. You guys know how he is. He's just reliable. like, yeah, yeah, he's just reliable and he's like a good teammate. He's such yeah. a good teammate. He's not selfish. Like he's just like such a team guy and like so great energy all the time. I think mm -hmm. I would definitely want that. Like he always shows up and like has 100% energy and effort. So I think that's one. And then just like in terms of physical, um, all of it. I don't know. He's just like yeah, so yeah. much physically different than me. Like he's just a, a dude. So exactly. it's kind of well, hard. And he's super athletic. He's so athletic. Like I would yeah. take any bits of it that I could. <laughs> yeah. I like you're both athletic. You're pretty, you're really athletic too. Would yeah. you think that's a strength? Yeah, what yeah, know? what's the vice versa? What is what would you say he would say about you as Oh my god. I don't I don't think gotta anything. Be, there's I don't definitely want something. Him there's to definitely something. He for sure would have an answer. Um, I would say maybe wardrobe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I don't Her know if he's wardrobe? really looking Whoa. for that. There you go, there you go. Okay, but yeah. um, I think maybe like his, or he would want my, I don't know, I'm good at defense, but he's so good at defense, so I don't know. Mm, he's good maybe reception. reception float, yeah, float yeah. reception you a, yeah yeah because you're because he's a center and you're a receiver so, you so that's one thing that. like but he doesn't need that right but all around in, but. in float reception he i would say women in general are much better than men mm -hmm. and i would say if you looked at your guys technique and stuff because mike he's he, he can play any he does any yeah. skill really well but i would say one thing for sure like all of us i think would say is like float serve platform reception women are way better at oh, yeah. and i think yeah. i think he would say that would, i uh, we're gonna ask yeah, him yeah we gotta ask him i would love to know we'll ask him before he watches this or else then <laughs> i don't think he knows we're interviewing we're, i'm being dead serious i don't know he, he knows. knows he knows I you tell him. him yeah <sighs> we talk a lot sometimes really? <laughs> yeah why <laughs> gonna, I know. why would you do that to me <laughs> no, I was kidding. um all right we talked to so i i I recommended your wardrobe. Obviously, one of the big things you're known for is yeah. you go out in a very stylish wardrobe. Before we get into you, we're a little selfish here. We want to get into ourselves. <laughs> Obviously, out of system here. A bunch of dudes. A lot of dudes. <laughs> when it comes to our wardrobe, I wouldn't say it's the cleanest. When it comes to our merch, mainly made for guys or or for Micah like designs it. Exactly. Yeah, Mike's our designer. I'm so you can be brutally honest here. A question. I introduced our merch in the beginning. What do you think of the soft cream and... The new peach hoodie. And don't hold back. Don't feel like you're on camera. And don't, you gotta be honest. Gotta be I like the cream. This. I'm loving the cream okay. with like the like monochromatic yeah, look yeah, yeah. and like the cursive. It's very tasteful. Got you. I'm more into like tasteful, like subtlety. And I think that you guys like are. Nude more colors? Like aloe. I think like aloe probably, yeah. Yeah, just like more like um, subtle. 
Okay. I don't. I wouldn't rec- like maybe say that you guys are super subtle. You guys no. are a little bit more bold, and vibrant. That's in, a good. Yes, that's a way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I love the cream hoodie. And you guys have your brand though. That's your style. True. I, I respect it. People, do you think? Yeah, people do love because I, to be honest, if I was designing straight up, I would keep it like very black and white. If right. I was, just, but every time like, and I don't wear like vibrant stuff generally. Right. Outside of like the out of system stuff we have. So when Micah brings it to the table, a lot of times, like at first, it always takes me two or three like looks before I can like, all right, yeah. get behind it. Well, and it's like your guys' brand and like people yeah. can see it from far away. Like it's different when it's like a brand versus like, I'm just yeah. like, this is what I like to wear, you gotcha. know? No, no, a hundred, no, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And like you said, like I said, it's, it's a hundred, a lot of the time it's, well, girls, Midwest, girls, different type of vibes right, for sure. Totally. Right, The grass scene, obviously the yeah. more vibrant. But for us, it was like, the mic I came up with my because originally we were gonna do I forget what color but we we're gonna do something I've seen pretty vibrant pretty um as well but we want to capture always want because we come back in the summer right now we're a seasonal brand for the most part trying to change that um but it's trying to capture like summer and stuff like yeah. that and that's what no, my, I, I think Mike is like going it. for and everything and capture the brand like I said right you guys have had some cool ones too like I remember the one for the tour with like the graphic that was yeah, really yeah. cool I like that one yeah 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 um any anyone you hate that you've seen Micah wear? Like, what do you mean? Also the blue sweater. Ours. Really? My mom has that one. She wears, I, I know. My a lot of people wear that My one. mom, like, reps the brand really hard. Shout out to we me. Gotta send her. We gotta send her. So you, you, would you ever see yourself in this shirt? Yeah, I would wear that. But, like, okay. the thing is, like, for your guys' brand, like, you can't, like, look at it from far away yeah. and know. So it's mm-hmm. like, well, I, think I get why you wouldn't want to do that Well, I think there's the two time. things to go. Like, you can go for the one, you can go for the br- hashtag branding approach, or mm-hmm. you can go for, and then people know. Or you go for, hey, if we make it sick and more people wear it, more people's eyes will be on it. You right, know? right. But it won't be as obvious at first. Right. So, I don't know. We That's, like, the one thing we've been debating. Yeah. Me and Micah and Joe, and, it, like, what do we do with the merch a lot of time? Right. Because in the summer, we can come out with a lot of stuff, and then overseas. Right. It can be more tough. And you want to, like, make it, like, brand, like branded, right. where it has, like, something unique to you gotcha. guys, but having, like, I don't know. Also being attached to slunks for us. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. a very vibrant brand. Right. Question for you. Yeah. What is the slunks equivalent on the women's and girls side? Would you say? Like, there isn't one. I think there's like a very, very large need for women's bikinis. What? Very large. Well, it's like Wait, a new what do you mean, what do you mean out of system line. Are you talking about like, you need, like, like, I think there's like a very large opportunity for a brand to come out with like beach volleyball apparel because yeah. for girls, because like there's a couple, but I would say they're definitely not like, I think every the whole beach volleyball on the women's side is pushing towards like a more feminine look and like yeah. more they care more about what they're wearing. Um and I think that the beach volleyball bathing suit companies right now don't go towards that. They're more yeah. like masculine, like a little bit more like um sport, like very sporty like athletic. and very athletic. So I think and like nobody is wanting to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. But all the like n- non volleyball bathing suits aren't functional to play in. So I think there's like a very big opportunity there. Do you think with your eye and your vision that you could design like work with somebody as like a designer? To be somebody. To- <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely like want to long term, but I think a lot of it has to do with like functionality. Yeah. And like I don't have the experience or like knowledge and like materials and fabrics and cuts to know what's going to fit. right. I can tell you if it fits right, mm-hmm. but I don't know how to make that. Are there any brands that are like going towards the right direction you would say um, or have products that are in the right direction what do a lot of people wear like i love the lulu bottoms and i like try everything like i spend yeah. an ungodly amount of money on bathing suits <laughs> but um what are people wearing like maji or i don't know i think it's like so hot everybody's looking for stuff yeah. and they're just like one-offing it and like you find one good pair and you wear it to death yeah but everybody's looking for something and i don't think there's anything right now is there what really quick look at before? What's the most overhyped brand in terms of bathing suits? <sighs> you guys, I don't like talking bad about people. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what is the? No, I'm just kidding. No. What is what is the most underrated brand then? Oh, I use a brand called Cup, but it's like I've heard of that brand. Actually. There's no way. It's like I've a, heard. I think I've heard. Joe, the brand. it's like it's a lingerie the brand. Suit, <laughs> I think no, no. I know. Joe! I don't know the product. Oh I've heard of the brand. Though. <laughs> I think I've heard of the brand. It's like literally so like a bra and underwear. I might have uh, been on the website once or twice. 
<laughs> and they just came out with a swim line, and it's like so comfy. Wait, wait. Okay. It's the a lingerie brand came out with a swimming line. Yeah, because I mean they specialize in bras and underwear. That's true. And then mm. <laughs> we got another bottle. Though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're up to in your free time, but yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. But exactly. yeah, they came out with some, and I love them. I love their fit, and they have like a lot of colors. And then I think Left on Friday is like a new one that's like mm. coming out that a lot of people like. Um, but I know like Joe Lynn used to be big, but I think they're like not as big anymore. Um, and like, n- I don't know, like the Nikes, the Under Armour is mm. like more like ma- like one size fits all kind of thing. Not very cute. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, so like Ga- I, I think Gage has a couple of questions about like your style and where you're at has there been any brands that have approached you since you've been kind of like the face i would say the face no. of avp okay no not at all i think Haters. maybe a couple so i shouldn't say no because maybe some that i'm not i don't love as much yeah. right. but nobody that i like am wearing and a lot in tournaments like i'll tag them or message them i've messaged like thousands of companies i swear mm-hmm. and nobody because they're all looking for like influencers yeah but so it's like a really hard space for me but you have a good following. Get the blue check as well. You're yeah. You're very well known. And you're yeah. also a, a goddess in your community. So it's also one of those <laughs> well, things where Well, you it's should like be my spokesperson. But um, no, <laughs> they, right now. they want like models, these brands that I'm looking at, not oh, okay. like sports figures. And so, so they're not in sports. No. The and that's okay. all these brands aren't sports, sports brands at all. Mm. So I'm trying like to, br- I can be like, hey, you guys have such a big opportunity yeah. in this space, but. I don't think it's really that big. That's and what Micah's mom actually did. She was the first Paul yeah, Mitchell athlete. Yeah, she was. She was the one that kind of started that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, she was. She's always, yeah, she, because we're taught, obviously we talk about stuff for our events and stuff, and I speak to her uh, about a lot of stuff, and she's always bringing that, like, you got to reach back out to Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell yeah, and get, I like, get them, like, back in. But, like, what you're trying to do is kind of start a line, basically. Work with the company, start a line. Yeah. Maybe, like, exactly what, if you, have you seen the movie Air? No, not yet, but I so want to. You, this fits literally exactly really? on the lines of this yeah, of that it. movie. Got to support Maybe Gabby Warren for that. But that's yeah, no, it's interesting because if you're thinking about a swimsuit company, why wouldn't you want to get into a sport right. like beach volleyball? Yeah, I think there's tons of opportunity, especially with the youth movement. Like beach is huge, and I think I get messages from kids all the time, like, "Where'd you get this? Where'd you get this?" Like, mm-hmm. so I think they're also interested in like looking cute and like with social media, it's like such a big thing to like look a certain way. Um, so I definitely think there's opportunity there, but I mean, I don't even need to like start my own line, but just yeah. like be sponsored by or even get free sh- stuff would yeah. be lovely because I like right now I'm just like spending money yeah. to try and obtain this, maintain this look. Do you have, do you have like a, uh, like a media kit or like a kit? Like if a company reaches out to you about something, do you have like a breakdown or something like a document yeah. that you send off? Well, I have okay. an agent. You do have an agent. Okay. Yeah. And so I don't actually have it. I used to before I had an agent, but mm-hmm. now he kind of does all of that. Okay. Yeah. That makes things easy. Yeah, it's really great. That's awesome. Yeah. Interesting. And and so for you, do you are you like already planned out your outfits for the summer for every event? Um, Ooh. it's hard because you have to match your partner and like mm. if I didn't know who my partner was, it made it really hard. So I would literally like with Carly Khan in uh, New Orleans, we didn't know we were playing together until like a week before. Oh, and wow. so I like sh- was in Brazil and I shipped I just like was buying stuff and shipped it to the hotel room and then I was like, "Can you match any of these?" Um, so it's hard like matching with the partner, but like Carrie and I, cause we were planning on playing together down the line are like scheming outfits already. Ooh. Yeah. Are you going to get her like in like, a, I remember you were wearing the dress at one point. Yeah. We've got some like things up our sleeve for sure. <laughs> are, are part of the outfit, like, do you guys go shopping together? Or is it like. I did with Sarah Pavin. Okay. Um, and it was so fun cause she's, that's not her like MO. She's very uh. serious, very, very intense. Like probably one of the most intense players on tour. And we went to Lulu and like did a whole fashion show before a game. It was so fun. And she had such a good time. And it was like so like just such good energy. Um, and then we won. So it was great. But usually it's like, a, oh, send me what you have. I'll send you what I have. And we'll kind of figure it mm. out. I like have 15 bathing suits in my um, room right now that I just bought. And I was like, Diana, do you like any of these? Do you want to sh- match in any of these? Like I try and make it easy for them because I'm the difficult one who like wants to look a certain way okay you're the trendsetter wait how many bathing suits do you have think you have total in terms of like playing i mean i have like 
trash bags full in the store. Put a number on it. I want. I want to know. I mean, oh, ever like overall that you, that you have in your that you have right now. I mean, in my closet, I probably have like fifty, but like in the shed in the back, I probably have two trash bags worth of like maybe a couple hundred. Do you, do you like couple hundred? <laughs> wow! And how come you? All right, so all right. So you ha- so because you, I can't rewear. We mean wait, wait, wait what? Why can't you rewear? Oh wait, wait, is that a rule? Well, I mean it's not a rule, it's not but a rule. yeah, I want to like I don't. I mean I can, and I rewear bottoms for sure because bottoms are limited. But I don't enjoy rewearing. In terms of rewearing, do you mean like on game days or just? No, no, on game days. Okay, game so days. if you wear it on a game day, <laughs> you can wear it again to the beach. Or yeah, practice or but something. there's some things like I don't wear like bikinis to practice every day. Good point. Yeah. So, are there multiple items that you only do one wears with? I have a few. But that means they're just that good, though. They're either, mm. or like, like there's some that have just like made a statement, and like there are a million times on posts or whatever, like I can't wear it again. Yeah. Good point. So if it made like a big statement, or if it was like on a back court where nobody was watching, no like good photos, I'll wear it again. Yeah. It's because I want it. I want it to uh, be seen. This is some. To be honest, a I'm exposing good, myself. <laughs> yeah. No, I. No, to be honest, all, I think a, I think a lot of players will like that. Like, I, like shoes, pe- guys like yeah, that with yeah, shoes yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Guys with yeah. shoes are the same way, but for content, and this might be an idea to get like the whole movement going with you finding like a good uh, company to partner with. Should start a series where your partners, you like record and you like vlog a series where you go shopping and you pick out your suit. Mm. But if you start a series there. Maybe somebody picks onto it. Yeah. Influencer. And then there's a company like, oh, it becomes a big series before every single big event you do this. And then maybe they want you to only be their customer. Yeah. I think it's hard because they mostly do online shopping. Okay. Like, I don't Ooh. know. A lot of the stores I buy from don't even have stores. But I have been doing like TikTok, like get ready I watch with all of them. We all watch them. So that way, like yeah. people can see what I'm wearing. Because like, I don't know. People care, weirdly enough. Okay. You have a lot of yeah. questions, like you said, from a lot of people. Asking yeah, you got stuff. I do. That's, that's smart. And I feel like, yeah, it's a way to like kind of explain my thought processes. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. The are you, are you like how are you with content? Like, what's your view I'm on terrible. creating content? I'm terrible. Like, terrible. Or that you don't want to. Yeah. You want to do it, but you're terrible. Yes. You feel like? Um, I think I'm fine at it. I think that. Um, I mean, I'm not fine at it. I think I could get a lot better at it. Mm-hmm. I'm good at like, okay, I'm going to just record this all and post it. I'm not good at like, I'm going to record a little here, a little here, like throughout it's a, a lot, whole day. Man. Yeah, I forget. And I'm like, shoot, that would have been so great. And then I forget. Or like a whole day goes by and I'm like, oh, well, there we go. It's over. If you ever need help, we can we can record for you and edit for you if you want. Okay. I've like hired somebody for this week. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, it, it, no, no, yeah, it. well, no, trust me, I will take it, but I'm, like, trying to be better about Good. it, I also just want to do, like, professional content, like, I don't want yeah. it to be, like, cheesy, mm-hmm. I'm, like, very particular about, like, way things look, so. I know you, I know you post collabs with Wilson a lot, though, too. Yeah, so but I don't create that content. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is, like, lovely for me. Oh, yeah, that's a win-win right there. It's a win-win. Win-win. 100%. You, we we kind of talked about the partner uh, partnership, but we never, I, I don't know how you got in, how you started being partnered with uh, Carrie. How'd Carrie? That How'd that come about? Um, she reached out to me last year um, at towards the end of the season, like kind of briefly, and then nothing really surfaced. And then um, we reached or we practiced together in like January-ish. Um, she was like, I'm trying out a couple girls. I mm-hmm. want to make another run. Um, and then she decided to play with Logan Tom. Mm-hmm. Um, and she then... Uh, she was trying to they were kind of trying to do it together okay, they okay. went to their first olympics together the year i was born uh, <laughs> and then they were like oh it'd be cool to go to our last together they went to their first together indoor um and so i think that kind of just like wasn't working out and then she reached back out and i was just like i wasn't gonna play with anybody else who i could make a run with and if you know, Carrie Walsh calls, you kind of answer. Mm-hmm. Um, and so sh- she was like, you might be like my plan B. And I'm like, I'll be your plan D. Like, I don't really <laughs> care. Um, I would just love to like learn from you in any capacity. So um, we were st- started training, I think, in the end of March. And then we're supposed to go to Brazil for our first tournament. And then three days before we left, she got s- like found out she needed surgery. Um, so we were supposed to be there for like three weeks and then, um, I found somebody to go with me 
and I found another person to play, a Carly Con to play mm. with in New Orleans and just kind of winged it. Um, and so she's supposed to be back around August, but we'll see. That's brutal. How does that conversation happen usually? Like yeah. if somebody's like, oh, I have surgery, like, because we don't have to deal with that ever in, in yeah. more volleyball. Yeah, it's such an interesting sport in that way. Like, sadly, it's happened to me like a lot of times, mm -hmm. but like, um, I don't know, for me, I've been like kind of bounced around with partners so much that I wasn't f like, I don't know, it was okay, you know, like, mm -hmm. and it's not like she wants to this to be happening either. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I just try and be supportive. And um, she was just like, this is the situation. And I'm just like, what do you do? Really? Yeah. Um, and then you just sort of wing it and try and find so, a way. So are most of those conversations like that, like when you're like, because everyone, because like you said, it's a wild sport. In terms yeah, it's of wild, wild, but wild. Like wild. In, in, in it's like a relationship. And so like, yeah. like when you're breaking up, like what are those conversations usually go like? Does it ever hit you like from, is it from left, left field where you're like, whoa, or is it like you can kind of see it coming and then it's like sit down? I think it's like so unique to every partnership. Like, and I think breakups can happen in a lot of ways. Like it can be like, they're not doing well and mm -hmm. like we just know this is going south or somebody can like poach them which happens a lot and be like i got this person wants to play with me yeah. and like especially if like a top team breaks up there's like a very large tri trickle down effect and it's like that person that team breaks up they have their pick of the litter and then they have their pick and that just kind of like trickles down um but then like sometimes it's an injury or i i mean i've even been on the road like we're supposed to be gone yeah. for a month and it ends like in the middle of the month oh and then God. you like go home and you lose money and flights and travel and yeah so it's like it's like very rogue and like very bananas <laughs> that's wild and what's like the like for you like I said you've unfortunately been yeah these crazy scenarios yeah is it what's like the hardest thing like like in terms of like uh uh what, what's the word i'm looking for in terms of i guess like kind of dealing with it and also like just like reacting to it and then kind of moving on is it like kind of a thing where it's like all right how, do you take it personal S sometimes they do like it kind of depends on the situation like sometimes like i've been in situations where i'm like you know what i get it like i'm not ridiculous and i can understand why you would want to go play with this person for points for whatever reason sometimes like an injury happens like you know it sucks but it is what it is and you can't like really be that upset about it but really just depends on how the person kind of handles it. Like mm -hmm. I know people who have had done over text over after like year long <sighs> relation or oh, partnerships geez. or like, um, I had somebody who committed to something and that didn't follow through with the commitment. And like, that's super hard. Um, I think the hardest part though is like emotionally just like being told no so much is like really hard. Mm -hmm. And then when you get with a partner, so like finally when I was with Carrie, we were like, the first time I was like, we're really committed for like 18 months. Um, it was so hard for me to like trust her because I'm like used to just like doing it on my own. Mm -hmm. And it's such an individual sport kind of like there's no subs. There's no like, you know, I don't know. It's a really individual sport if you make it. And I kind of was. Um, and so it was hard for me to trust anybody after that. And I think that was like the hardest part. What's the hardest part, like, finding a new partner? Like, what? Like, what's the hardest characteristic or thing about, like, finding, like... Well, like, I think as a defender, it's really hard. There's, like, far fewer blockers than defenders. Gotcha. So that's, like, the number one thing. And then, I mean, I'm just, like, not going to be somebody in case... Unless the situation was, like, this was, like, an opportunity that I needed to go to the Olympics or something, I would never poach somebody's partner, which a lot of people have no problem with that. Like being like, you know, they're a team. I'm going to be like, hey, can you play with me? Even though you already have a partner, I wouldn't do that. But people do that a lot. It's a cold world we live in, huh? Yeah, it's definitely a cutthroat. T to be honest, too, maybe this is like as a competitor, if I was like playing against somebody all the time and say you like lose to this team, mm -hmm. I, I would never be like, I want to go play with them. I'm like, I want to beat this person. Yeah. I wouldn't want to try to team up with that's it's a, that's so a hard. Weird. Yeah. And then also it's like, okay, this person may have absolutely screwed you, yeah. but you kind of have to keep the bridge like kind of open because you never know when another, like when things circle around, that might be an opportunity that like is best for you. So you kind of like want to keep things amicable. Yeah. But yeah, it's hard. Can you, can you briefly explain the USA volleyball system? how USA mm -hmm. beach works because <laughs> so really. many people ask us this yeah and I'm like 
I know like a certain amount of people like if you're in obviously in a certain amount of world rankings you right. get everything paid for like yeah just brief like the general like very vaguely I think and like I think it's a lot of it is ambiguous like mm-hmm. I think that's the hardest part for a lot of people to understand because nobody understands it it's kind of the people at the top have choice and freedom yeah. to do what they want to do and there's not like a direct clear it's just who they want in there so that's like the thing I think that people struggle with the most but I think it's the top eight are on like a stipend uh top eight players yeah are on a stipend on men's and women's and then I think maybe top 12 get like a coaching stipend something along those lines if you're in the top 12 players I think you're in the mix for getting some money um monthly uh, and it every quarter, I believe that changes the ranks. So you get it for a quarter, okay. and then if your rank changes within that, you get that changes a bit. I believe, I've never been in that area, so I don't really know. And then um, USA has a gym that they, all of those people are invited to, and they can also invite other people to. Okay. Um, and when you're invited in, you're part of the national team program, um, and you, yeah, you can get access to the facilities. The, the the beach systems okay you, well you have that and then the whole FIVB system now yeah. so I was talking to Hendrik and like Anders and those guys because mm-hmm. we know we just know the Norwegians from like college mm-hmm. and they were trying to explain it. even they couldn't really explain it and stuff yeah um and so I'm confused like why they make the system like so complicated for beach volleyball and I makes think it so it's difficult because it's so grow. difficult and it's so confusing and like doesn't make a ton of sense but um, I think it's because like partnerships flop so often mm. that it's kind of hard to keep anything standardized yeah. when things are changing so frequently. So I can empathize with them. And then it's like, you know, maybe somebody who's really good in college or maybe an indoor player who has a lot yeah. of potential. Like I can understand why you would want to put them in the gym or whatever. Um, but I think the vagueness can upset a lot of people. Yeah. A ton of people. Well, also like the from an outsider, if I'm just a very basic fan of volleyball. Indoor is the same way professionally. Right. You have four different competitions in the year. Right, right, right. The reason why the NFL, the NBA, all these, the MLB, it's like everybody knows you're competing for one trophy right. at the end of the year. And it's really simple to understand. You can go. It's like yeah. they're trying to get this one trophy. Yeah. And when you look in a beach, like people come in and they're like, wait, what's this? How does this have yeah. anything to do with 2024? I mean, in theory, though, well, that's like talking about like. I don't know. It, in football, it doesn't really. But say like soccer. Soccer is mm-hmm. so, so similar. Yeah. Um, That's true. But in theory, like for at least beach volleyball, like they're tournament based. So it's not that hard for a fan to understand. Like you go to the tournament, everybody's fighting to win. Yeah. And there's only one winner. But when you're talking about like how you get ranked, how you get mm-hmm. into tournaments, that part is very confusing. But it's a lot like tennis. Tennis is almost the exact same way. And same with yeah. like golf is very similar. But because there's so many circuits and tours it's just like yeah and then you have the olympics on top of that it's really confusing i think what's also confusing for me is like north seikos and also because you get these random teams these random guys maybe they barely barely get in the main draw if that not even that like yep representing usa go to north seikos yeah get a big one i'm like what like why are we not like why we're not sending this guy or this guy so like north seikos how do you do you just sign up and go you have to qualify in like a usa tournament in the states but if nobody goes you automatically get in Mm, um and a lot of the norsecas conflict with like avps or they're in really not desirable locations or really expensive to get to um so yeah that's kind of how you qualify but it is very odd no yeah it's and it's also like the five star system is like yeah that's gone now Oh, it is? Yeah. Ooh, way behind the curve. Yeah. My bad. You have, like, the Elite 16. Yeah. That's what everybody's trying to get into. And it's 16 oh, okay. teams. Yeah. yeah. And so that shuffles around. Got you. Yeah. Got you. And then in terms of, uh, really quick, we have a few more questions before you let you go here. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> but, um, let's see. As we've stated multiple times on this podcast, you are dating Micah, so you have a very yeah. good, and you're visiting him a lot, so you have a very good look into his life, his right. schedule. Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah. Very good look into yours. In terms of what do you think that beach players have better than indoor? What do you think that indoor players have better than beach? In just terms of everything? Just in terms of lifestyle. Um, we it, live in America. Oof. Big plus. Um, we have a lot of freedom. Like in we, America? Well, yes. No, in America, <laughs> yes. But um, just like as beach volleyball players, like we make our own schedules. So, 
you know, you have to pick up your kid at this time, you can change your practice. You know, like there's a lot of flexibility. Um, so that's a huge, huge plus in terms of you guys. Um, you don't have to schedule everything. You just show up when they tell you to show up. True, but and that like, could be that could be brutal sometimes. Like like the night before going to Greece, give her, I'm like, what? Like, like yeah. But at the same time, it, you're right. It is. But nice. like yeah, and then you also aren't like paying for your coach. Mm. You're not paying for your physio. You're not paying mm. for your trainer. You just it's all part of your contract, yeah. Yeah. as well as housing. Um, so that's really big. Um consistent paychecks like whether it's a lot or a little you know what you're getting plus potential bonuses so i think that's like there's like the consistent lifestyle it's not always i'm sure it's monot i know it's monotonous and mm -hmm. it can be like really just like routine and like go with go through the motions but i think there is also like comfort in that you know yeah. um whereas like i can be flying to brazil on my own dime losing the first round of the qualifier, not even get into the tournament, have paid for everything, get zero dollars, now have no hotel room for that night, have to find a place to stay or find a place flight back to America or to my next tournament. You know, like that is, I've been in like lots of situations where I'm like kind of stranded in a foreign country, like trying to find my way home or find a place to sleep, um, which I think you guys don't really do have mm. that. Um, what else? Yeah. You can choose your teammate. That's nice, too. Yes. Yes, that is nice. But it also... But well, there's positives and negatives. Totally. To totally. And there's just two of you. That's, like, yeah. a huge difference. Like, you're traveling. Like, there's one guy on your team that annoys you, and that way yeah. you don't want to talk to him. You don't really have to. You know? Like, you can kind mm -hmm. of, like, avoid that person. There is, like, you you and your partner, like, get in a huge fight. You now are spending the, uh, the next month every day in a hotel room together, just the two of you, only people that speak English. Like... That's kind of gnarly. Yeah. Um, so I think those are, and like the no sub thing, I think is like a big, like there's mm. not as much pressure on someone. Like if you're passing terrible, they can just take you out. But if you're like struggling to side out on the beach, there, there's nobody to like sub in for you. You got to mm. just sit in it and figure it the F out. And so I think that's like kind of different. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had another one and I forget. There's so much. There's so much. No, it's, it's very different. It's very different for yeah. sure. I think also a lot of the positives on both sides are also negative if you look at it from a different way. Yeah, for like sure. Because like you can choose your partner. The thing is, so can the other person. So that's why they're leaving yeah. is because they're able, like in an uh, indoor team, they are in a contract. So right. it's very rare for them to just... The non-contractual obligation yeah. is the biggest difference between the two, I yeah. feel like. Like For you sure. guys are in a contract and you're going to get X, Y, and Z dollars. Mm -hmm. You're going to get these benefits. Hopefully though, overseas though, like for example, my, last year, yeah, I didn't get paid all my money, you know, and yeah. that, that, that's a, that's a, I would say more common case totally. than you think. Yeah. So you, I think there's lot. also a lot more, one more thing, a lot more BS you have to deal with when you're overseas. But what, what, but there's like, now we're at a point where we deal with only like really professional clubs. Yeah. Like Good at the point. beginning of your career, you can get in some situations. Yeah. That it, and I mean, living overseas in and of itself is like such a larger sacrifice yeah. than a lot of the beach sacrifices like just accessibility like when i'm over there like you want an acai bowl you don't get an acai bowl yeah. like, there's not like the food the going to get like medicine that you want like there's just so many things mm -hmm. living overseas that you lose that outweigh a lot of the cons of being yeah. a beach volleyball player no you're right for sure different folks different strokes for sure all right this is my this is our last question here okay last question before you let you off before we, before we wrap up your well, I, have a, I have a fun before he goes yeah you guys can ask more if if, okay. if uh where's one tournament or one location internationally that you would love the FIVB Ooh. to put a tournament Ooh. um America there's none another one what, the one oh there isn't yeah. there isn't none I, I would there isn't any there hasn't been in since I've been playing professionally uh, like yeah, I would crazy. love one in Manhattan Beach like they should make it, yeah because like the host country pays for it um, and USA and doesn't like <laughs> you, but USA, if they do it right, you because the thing about beach volleyball is we always talk about this. You got to create a party atmosphere. That's what why people right. love beach. If you create Back a party day, like yeah. event out of it, that's what attracts people. Yeah. Um, and so like doing it in the U.S., you can easily make you can make yeah. so much money, TV yeah. contracts and all this. But you, but I was saying. Obviously, U.S. I didn't. Even, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking Barcelona would be sweet. They have Barcelona. one. Do oh, they? Oh no, Madrid. 
Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Don't futures. Don't get jokes start on Barcelona. Yeah. God, Barcelona is fun. Barcelona. Barcelona is fun. I had some fun there. Got a day or two off. Let's go to Barcelona. <laughs> I'm like, Joe, we have practice, man. <laughs> there, there's not like, like, ooh, there's gonna be any chance. Barcelona, anyone? Yeah, it's only a 14-hour f- f- drive, three-hour flight. Yeah. But, Barcelona um, guy, huh? Oh, this guy, man. It's a, this fun, guy. it's a fun city. That's so interesting to me. Barcelona Joe is a different animal that you do not oh, know Oh, I can, about. I mean, Barcelona, everybody is scary. Uh, our, yeah, this guy obsessed over it. He's like, well, our team in general. You know what? Year. He's like, you know where we could be right now? You know what's better than this? Dead serious. I'm like, let me have a guess. <laughs> At the same time, Barcelona. That, <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, man. It's a fun city. It's so, it's, yeah. It's what's cool your, so what's the place you have played that's your favorite? Mm, I haven't played, like, there's a lot of places on tour. Like, I want to play in Stad. I hear it's incredible. Um, I hear that Vienna has, like, a really cool one. Um, I would love to play in Paris at mm. Roland Garros because I like I'm a big tennis fan. Um, yeah, I, th- I think I, w- there, I haven't played in that many yet, so mm. I, there's tons that I still want to play in. Got you, got you. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, this is my last question here. Okay, and we like to ask this for anyone familiar with the brand or anything. Like okay, that. and maybe you're maybe maybe you and Micah don't talk. For, I don't know what else you guys would talk about if you're not talking about out of system. <laughs> Sorry. Not much. <laughs> no, but what do you think that out of system in terms of us, media wise, anything wise, we can do a better job of? Oh, what dear what God. could we improve? What can we do better? Oh, to better boys, ourselves? let me tell you. You better. And I, and I, if you hold back, I'll be disappointed in you. I want the brutal, honest truth. What do we do? What do you think we do right? What do you think we need to do better? What is something we need to do better in order just for the betterment of the brand? Um. I think you guys do a lot of things good. I think that you guys, I don't know. I think your like image and mm-hmm. look targets one audience. And what would that be? Like a young, the younger generation. Is it because what? You, 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 don't be broad. Be brutally honest, because that that way it's better for us too. So what? Maybe what do we, we should do have this conversation it? after. I don't know. I think that it's like you guys are like more of a playful brand okay i would say i would definitely like say your brand is more playful mm-hmm. and don't get me wrong you guys are, like when you're competing i have like so much respect for you guys are like right. very very like intense and um focused but i think the overall vibe of the brand is a more silly like the vlogs yeah no, absolutely and absolutely. like you in general. oh yeah oh absolutely 100 <laughs> percent. you know and there's nothing wrong with that but i think that as a brand you could like get more Mm-hmm. Of an audience, like grow your audience by targeting of different groups. In ter- what do you think we should do? Which I think you guys do a good job of, like in your podcasts. Mm-hmm. I think that there are like some are more like serious. Yeah, or, like gotcha. when you're like like I listened to some of them when you guys are recording, and like you did like Bruno and like asking very like intellectual mm-hmm. and uh, like right. mentality, like all of those kinds of things. Um, but I think like your social media is very um, fun and playful. Like you just butt digs. Yeah, like my or butt like dig the, the gritting. What did I, the gwitty? Yeah, I, yeah. I literally ask because my my roommates. I'm like, what's gwittying? <laughs> and yeah. they thought it was hilarious because I don't not up on those trends. Oh no no absolutely. And I, and I, in Europe, you should have seen in Germany everywhere. We went. This guy, it was people don't know watch all. This guy. In Europe was crazy. Could Everybody knew this guy. They would see their team logo like, card, and could be Gwitty on the yeah on the street next to the oh, cars. It was wild. And stuff. After games, I just knew kids. Well, that was good. Like that targets. Yeah, it worked. And I think I think I think you're right because we also get it's also kind of a debate of people see that, but they also don't realize we're highly skilled totally. volleyball players. And, and you're 100 percent right. So yeah. like, it's also kind of one of those things. It's also like for me, highly skilled. High, uh, we're 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 good volleyball players, right? For me, I'm I'm more known for the gwitty and idiot. Like I get comments yeah. on, like I completely forget this guy's like good yeah. at volleyball and he's totally. just a buffoon. Right. And, like, and I understand that when I get like my action, 100. percent And there's there's pros to that which I like, and there's cons to that which totally. I like. Totally. You know, I'm gonna go coach a clinic with a bunch of 14 year olds and like that's the gwitty guy. Why would I live right. like you know rather than there's that's, definitely you know. like pros to it for sure. Mm-hmm. So it's like, but also we kind of debate on the things of like. One being genuine, one. being genuine, yeah, exactly. Going on in one line, one lane. Two, being genuine. It's a, we're very genuine. We act like that. that that's who right. we are, right? Right, right, right. But in three, it's like okay, that's why people post a lot of tutorials. But, but that's, but I feel like that's also not us. But we're we're coming with creative ways. Like for example, on clinics, we'll post all our. Yeah, best. or like, like yeah. you guys could, because I think people do respect you guys as players. Like mm-hmm. they love watching you because you guys win every grass tournament you show up. You know, because like you guys aren't just like 
average Joes. Well, not everyone, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, most of right. them. <laughs> um, but I think that you guys are so good. So people like respect that. And part of the reason why they're so interested in you. And I'm sure they would love to know about like on Instagram or TikTok of like not just squiddying, but like what's your mentality as a player gotcha. or what's your like pregame routine, you know, things like that, that are more serious percent. because they do respect you guys as players because you guys are very talented. I think we put that more into our YouTube content, but when you're saying we should put it more into our short form content. Cause yeah, because I don't, yeah, digesting. I don't watch your right. YouTube and I right. like, I only hear you guys in those forums, like when I'm around Micah, who's filming it or whatever. Yeah. And that's how I get to see that side of you guys. But from like, I only look at Instagram. I don't see that as much. Yeah. You don't look at TikTok at all? No, no, not our TikTok, but just in general. No, I do. Okay, got it. But got I it. don't, you know, more I'm more. Short, for, short form. Got it, got it, got it. I and tell also, Gage, I think one thing Gage is really good at is storytelling. And storytelling on yeah. TikTok and huh. Instagram, Gage is really good at that. And I always tell him, you know, like with green screens and stuff like that, we can we can be a lot better about that. And like, or, yeah, analysis. But that's stuff. like my opinion so okay. that doesn't No, but that's from but we need your opinion because out of system i always say i always ask like which is not many anytime we that we talk to girls <laughs> or anything like that it's like it's like did not not like that but like in terms of like friends or whatever we always ask really like out of system always needs like a girl's touch so i always ask them for opinions and whatnot about certain yeah. stuff and so we respect your opinion so it's one of those things where it's like and you're close to the brand so we that's that's why i was just curious and asking because like i said we need more of a girl's touch at times and i we, agree with that and, and I think that, like I said, that's why we're asking about bikinis. Because we were thinking about making our slunks into bikinis, too. But also not as crazy. I realize, No, not, I'm not slunks, as, bikinis. We're not, but we're not totally toned We're not talking about slunks, fact, bikinis. But the well, we've been, the design, the wave pattern we have on one of the yeah. Have you seen the new ones? Yes. Thoughts? Brutally honest. I like back. them. I like them. How are they doing in bikini, but in less intense form? But just like that. I like, won't wear them, but I like okay. them. <laughs> would other people wear them? Would, no, you, no, would I, other people wear them? Yes. What? Okay. Would you ever consider working with us to design something that you could see yourself not that you would wear for a competition i don't care about that yeah. but just that you would wear it. because like i said i think everybody admires like the, yeah. the i would definitely because i like love one of okay. the guys in this group so i would only one <laughs> just one totally <laughs> no 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 um so i totally would but um yeah, I am so particular about like okay. what I would and wouldn't do. So I would just have to be really on board with it before I let you guys did, do anything with it. 100%. No, we, we yeah. would need that. Though. Well, we if yeah. we were working, we whenever we work with somebody, we don't release it until they're like sold on it. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe we try to figure out. Because we obviously we have no idea about that stuff. Fashion stuff, totally out the door with us. But, like, not a lot of people do. That's just, like, my thing. So you guys yeah. just should be do your thing, which is great. But we, do. we don't know. I don't, my thing's not bikinis. I'm we're going to become not. We're gonna become the AV. That's going to be our next line is we're going to become the AVPs. Like, like you are talking about, there needs to be a brand that comes in and takes that role. Yeah. That's going to be out. Let's do it, so. boys. Let's do it. Let's you work go. on the bikini cut is the most important thing. Make sure they fit well. So you I'll try them on. Gage, I'll try, you try them on. on. Uh, you could, I'll, I'll try You'd be our fit model. Oh, I like that. Gage will try them on. No, that'd be bad. Uh, there's one more thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if you heard yet. Yeah. Congratulations. You get to play with Micah and us in Smackfest, uh, July 29th. We're oh, all the team. wow. Did yeah. you hear about that? No. Congratulations. Wow, I'm yay. glad we can make it live on camera. But actually, actually, is we that, need a beach defender. Um, is that, we're going to. Do you guys need a girl? Is that why? No, we need Zana. Big difference. <laughs> we, don't need, we, don't need, we don't need somebody. We need But you, you need we a need, girl. Yeah. Or part of the rule Micah is signed you guys up. We need a girl and he... He signed you up. What day? 29th, the last July 29th. Saturday. July 29th. Drum roll. I probably will be here. Ooh, we got ourselves a fourth. Let's go. And there, we, I never agreed, but we'll chat. Right. We'll chat. Off. Hey, there's chat. like, I think you win like seven or eight grand as a team. So it's, oh, wow. Moolah, baby. And you get to wear out of system. Think about that. You get to wear a hoodie that you love so no, much. No, you get to wear the suit that we designed. No. <laughs> I'm trying to make it <laughs> clear. Oh We're only going to make one. It's one way to make the me Zana. not play. We're going to call it the Zana, too. <laughs> the Zana. That'd be, that'd be good. That'd be good. What, all right, here about this. Oh, God. I'm all right, scared. last name Muno. What if we had like a moon type kind of, not, not, not vibe, but like kind of design or something like that? Just like something subtle called the Muno. And then be like, ooh, like the Muno. <laughs> well, it's Muno, so. <laughs> oh! But that's what we get to play on words. M O N O. 
It's M U N O. I know, but that's for the play on words right got now. It, you got it, got it. You see how okay. my mind works. Yeah, she's I'm alive with and you. play right I'm now. With you. <laughs> she, I can tell. She just wants to work with me already. I can tell already. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, or, by the way, I didn't. I haven't asked you this. We're gonna do it on the podcast. June tenth. Are you here? Is this for your guys' this tournament? Man. Yeah. I don't know yet. Would, Would you play in it if you're here? Well, is it? I've had so many questions. I asked. Faye. Ooh, ask away. Is it um like you get like a normal four man like A B C D and you guys are drafting teams? So it's A B C D format. So Mark Paul Louis, though he's the director, his team's okay, coming to run it. So it's, it's not legit. Okay. You're not dealing with us running the tournament. <laughs> okay. He's coming in. Uh, we have legit sponsors. I'm not gonna say yet who, but it's it's a good. You work with. Uh, I guess we could say we like Wilson's on board. Like we cool. have we have some bigger brands coming on board. It's gonna be a really cool event on the pier here in Hermosa. Uh. And it's ABCD format. We're so going to be selecting the teams. You're selecting teams. Yeah. Got it. You come and you, you can have a good say who your team is. Okay. Close um, to the brand. Uh, obviously, we, you know, Micah probably won't be here. Unfortunately. Oh, that's but right. you can represent. You could be the third for that. Time. But they haven't started okay. playing by that yet. So even if you're going, I don't know. Yeah, we'll chat. June 10th. We'll chat. Because people, we haven't even talked about it. This is the first time we ever talked about it because, but it is invite only 16 teams. Mm. Uh, you can explain the last couple rounds. Well, we'll do it at a later point. Okay. We'll, we'll chat. Okay. Four-man tournament. Different stipulations than you normally thought in the, in the later round. That being said, Zana. It's going to be... Oh, I did. I saw that. Yeah. Semis, finals, or ace. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's scary. That's scary. It's, it's just... Scary, just don't make it that far. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> no, I want to win. Yes. There you go. Correct answer. I Correct. That's a win. test. You We're going to have a... The mic is designing like a really cool trophy we're gonna have made. Cool. And it could be right there. It could sit right there. And your and your name's gonna be on it if you want. Like it's gonna that. be as big as your as your uh as your table. So instead of a table, you can have <laughs> four eyes. I'm trophy. definitely not playing then. <laughs> you can eat on it. Victory. All right, with that being said, Donna, thanks so much for joining. We couldn't we can't thank you enough for letting us convert your living room to a literal studio uh, and hop it on the pod. Thanks so much. Thank you, roommates, for letting me. Thank you, roommates as well. Thank you as well. Um before also, you want to plug anything? We always let our guests plug before I wrap it up. No plugs. Any Catcher special? and Heinted. Catcher and Heinted. What's your TikTok? Yeah. Zana Muno, I think. Okay. We'll look, link in the bio for that. Anything Zana, anything following Zana, make sure you put the link in the bio. If you have any more questions about her swimsuit or anything like that, before the Muno one. Or ideas out. for the, the collab suit. Oh, Please like don't that. make me do this. <laughs> <laughs> People uh, are going to give us ideas. People DM us ideas. Oh for sure. For sure. For sure. Um, with that being said, just want to give a, another quick shout out again. Peach hoodie, also go get it. The light cream, You're out of some sizes already. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, out. oh yeah, and the light cream long sleeve, also light get cream it. long sleeve. I, I that's recommend. That's the move. That's the move. I hey, like it. You got the you got the Zana. It's Stanford really approval. comfy too. Boom. Yeah, All it's of cute. It's, you look so cute, Gage. Oh, you mean that? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe blush. <laughs> With that being said, I just want to give another shout out to our sponsors, allvolleyball.com. No matter what surface you are on, they got what you need. I promise. I promise to have what you need. If you don't believe me? Go we just ordered some stuff. Buy. Exactly. We just ordered some stuff. It's on the way. Got some new shoes. Got some new kicks. Use your promo code OOS for 20% off. OOS again. And with that being said, if you can't hear the heat, got the damn kitchen. This has been another episode presented by allvolleyball.com.